Alright guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how you can capture your Xbox One without a capture card. Or capture your Xbox One video without a capture card. So the first thing you're going to need is a Windows 10 computer. Laptop, desktop, doesn't matter, and it can't be slow as crap. <laughs> so just make sure it's a decent computer. You need to have the Windows 10 computer. And then you're going to need two apps. The first app is built right into the computer. It's the Xbox app. You can just click the start menu, type in the word Xbox, and it will pop right up. Go ahead and open your Xbox app, and if it's the first time you've ever opened it, it's going to ask you to sign into it with your Xbox email address and password. I'm already signed in here, so um, and I'm already connected to my Xbox. So we're just going to click the File button. And if you haven't connected to your Xbox yet, just click Connect down here and it will find your Xbox One and connect to it. Since I'm already connected, I'll just go ahead and click on it and show you what happens. You'll get an option to stream. And this is what you want to do. This brings your Xbox One video right to your computer. And uh, this is this is exactly what you need in order to capture it. You can adjust the quality of the video right here, set it to high, medium, low, depending on how fast your network is, and uh, that's it. You could actually play the game from here, but there is a little bit of screen lag, you know, when you're doing a uh, capture like this. So let's uh, quit out of this game. Let me see. Oh, I'll stay in it for now. We're going to stop the streaming. Once you verify that works, um, that is the first step. So once you have the Xbox app up and running and you can stream it, that's awesome. The second thing you're going to want to do is download some free software that will let you capture uh, what's on your screen and record it to an MP4 file. And it's really cool software because it also lets you do webcam, uh, live streaming, other stuff like that. It's called Open Broadcast and I already have it on my computer. I will put a link in the description uh, for the software and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So once you have the open broadcast software installed uh, what you want to do is you want to add your source and uh, the best way to go is just to right click say add and say monitor capture. Now this is going to capture you know everything on your screen. So we're gonna um, put the monitor capture on uh, make sure your resolution is set to 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. This is something you'll need to adjust in your computer settings first, not the open broadcast settings. That is the 720p and 1920 by 1080 is 1080p. So we're going to leave this the way it is uh, and basically just say OK. You can define options like capture mouse cursor or whatever if you want. Um, and we'll just say OK and that's really all we need for the source because we're just going to capture what's on the screen. So from there, you're going to go over to Settings and Broadcast Settings. And this is where you're going to choose, you want to choose the mode for File Output Only. And click the Browse button and tell it where you want to save it. So I usually just save it as whatever. So it's going to save where you tell it to go as an MP4 file. Um, and then you can check your encoding settings and uh, usually um, for for capturing if you have a fast computer and you're and you're not streaming you're just you know capturing it straight to your hard drive I would put this somewhere between 8 and 10,000 mine is only on 2,000 now because I was doing a live stream test so we'll just put it on 8,000 uh, to capture directly to the computer actually the computer I'm on right now is kinda slow so let's just put that on uh, 5,500 and that's basically the video quality right there. So now we're going to uh, say preview the stream and make sure it's set up right. So you should see your own monitor in the stream. So that's great. So let's do a real test and let's say start recording. So now we're going to say start recording. We're going to minimize it and we're going to stream the Xbox. And we're going to do a couple things and uh, see if it records to the file. So I'll just get up and uh, just run around a little bit here. Jump up and down. Shoot my gun a couple times. Throw a grenade at this chopper. And go back down. So let's see. Let's uh let's say stop streaming. 
let's go back to our open broadcast software and let's say stop recording and uh, let's go to where we saved that which I believe was okay my videos folder we'll just copy and paste that and let's see what it looks like so this is our video that we uh, just recorded So as you can see, we have uh, captured the Xbox One gameplay without a capture card uh, directly to the computer. Now, like I said, the only requirement is really that you have a good Windows 10 computer. Uh, if you have a fast computer but it's got Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can do a free upgrade to Windows 10, so check into that. Now there is um, one other way to do recordings, and that is if say you have no computer let's say say you have a crappy computer uh, that's not fast enough to record okay and a lot of people still do have a crappy computer that's not fast enough to record so in that case what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna install the twitch app and the twitch app allows you to stream to twitch right from your xbox one anything you stream to twitch you can copy over to your youtube when you're done streaming download it and edit it so there's really two ways to do it I'd say the first way that I showed you with the open broadcast software and the Xbox app on Windows 10 is gonna be the best way um, but like I said if you don't have a good computer the second best way is put the twitch app on your Xbox one stream to twitch and then download your stream uh, to you or transfer your stream to YouTube which is an option when you log into twitch and uh, download it from there, edit it, commentate, re-upload it, you know, however you do your videos. So capture cards are good if you want to do like super high def things, but just for regular 720p, uh, the Twitch app and the Xbox One app uh, should work perfectly for you. Any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, like and favorite this video. Check out my channel for more tutorials and uh, Battlefield, Star Wars, and other first-person shooter game information. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.